Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have another Glen Moray on the cask. It's a 10 year old Glen Moray, but it's actually mm, not their core range, but it belongs to the Elgin Heritage Edition or collection. Usually distilleries don't really do age statements in their special series. Usually they do vintages or non-age statement whiskies. So this is a bit of an, a little bit of an outlier, but why not? Why not do an age statement whiskey in a special series? Um, there are now, there have been, or there are still, uh, three single malts in this series, a 12, a 15 and an 18 year old. And the uh, Glen Moray Fire Oak is now the fourth one in this series. Um, Glen Moray is known for their wine finishes. They have really great wine finishes. And we had a lot of great wine finishes Glen, from Glen Moray here on the cask. Before that, it's, it's just an, a very good distillery. This is, however, not a wine cask finish, or it doesn't even have any wine cask in it whatsoever. It's a, a double oak, so it's two different oak barrels in it, and let me just read it. Matured in X bourbon, so normal bourbon barrels or barrel casks, and virgin charred oak casks. So virgin charred oak casks, so that's basically what the Americans use. So. It's just fresh wood, charred, and then you fill it with the Glenmore spirit. Yeah, so far so good. Not the the typical Glenmore that we that we know right now that are with special wine cast Chardonnay or something like that, but actually uh, a very oak heavy whiskey I would say. This would be well, would probably be very similar in the maturation to what we experience from let's say the bourbon side and from the smell that I just have by pouring while I was pouring. Um, yeah definitely. Definitely. A bit more of a fruitier sour touch so it's uh, not as sweet sticky as the as the Americans so it's it's really uh, a maltiness but uh, a sweet maltiness or so a, a really really sweet malt you you know when you have a, a grain and you eat a grain or you eat a malt and you you really feel that uh, that starch has been converted to sugar mm. That, that feels, you feel that in there. And it's uh, citrus, tropical, fruitiness note in there as well. Mm. And that typical, so it's, and that typical caramel. So it's really a, a bourbon character with a, a few interesting side notes and that typical single malt maltiness. It's a mm, nice, very bourbon sided scotch whiskey. Yeah, let's try it. Mm. 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 I would have expected much more sweet and forward bourbon style, but Actually, a bit of sweet with a lot of grapes or fruits or black currant or, or something like that. Not quite sure. Mm. These sour little little berries. I'm not quite sure what they're called in English. Yeah, mm. I know the word in German is Johannes Bear, but. I can't translate it right now. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. 
totally different from what you have in the smell. It's really juicy, berries, sour, a little bit of sweetness in there as well, but from the from the smell, I would expect much, much, much more sweetness. And on the finish, as it fades out, you get a sense of the wood, a sense of the oak, a little bit of sense of tannins. Mm. So it, it starts off really sweet in the nose, comes on juicy and sour and ends up with a bitter sweetness, oakiness in the end. That's a, that's a good journey. That's a, a nice journey within a glass. Mm. 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 That takes your taste buds just for a walk. Um, just shows them the possibility of taste. Mm. I like it. Mm. It's a it's a nice one. Um, it's it's not that expensive. Output of Glenmore is uh, higher than you would expect, and uh, yeah, so it's around 30, 30 ish, maybe 35 in some countries or in some stores. But um, I like it, so it's it's not a a high class premium Scotch whiskey, but it's a good one. You have to be in it for the the heftiness and the additive maturation. It's not a, a nuanced, complex one, but a, a one that has a lot of flavor coming from the fresh cast, the ex-bourbon cast, that, that gives it quite a boost. So you have to be in it for that one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up and see you next time.